really important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it mm -hmm. had to be of an international standard. Which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. Welcome, this is Seriously Speaking. Oftentimes, people choose the path of reality shows to try to achieve fame. And there's more of that around our country these days because it's creating opportunities for young people to achieve their dreams through the platform that that reality show gives. So today, I'm titling this edition, Chasing Fame. Fame may come not only because you've won a reality show or because you are a superstar doing one thing, but it's always there because people follow you. And by virtue of what you do, they begin to ascribe to the values that you hold. So what values do my famous people hold? That's what I'll be discussing with three young people who have become famous by virtue of the platforms that they exposed themselves to. So for all of you watching, you're going to have a fun and entertaining day today because there will be some singing and dancing. Don't go away. This is Seriously Speaking. And my name is Adesuwa Onyenukwe. Welcome back. My guest, the first person on my set today, is a young man who attained fame, not because he won the Big Brother show, but because of the aftermath of that time in the house. And today, he's the face of so many brands, one of them which is Pay Porte. But that's not why he's here today. He's going to be sharing with me his life dreams and something that's going to happen pretty soon through his label. It's my pleasure to welcome to the set right now, Tayo Faniro, and I want him to catwalk, whether he likes it or not. So, Katayo, catwalk onto the set. The, you are singing step, for your step, dinner. The step is not making it easy. Don't worry, you know, just step, step, <laughs> step, 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 turn around. <laughs> nice thank to have you. you. Thank nice you. Nice to have you. Nice to see you too. Well, you know, traditionally, on that side, so I can fix you there. Right. Exactly. Okay. You know, traditionally, you should be... <laughs> Brustrating. Yes. I can do that. Okay, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It really is nice to have thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank much. you for your patience. We're yeah. a bit slow on getting this done. It's all right. Thank you. <laughs> you know, the impression that some of us older people okay. and, you know, feel about Big Brother is that it's not teaching the right values. Yeah. You know, because you're opening up people to share. The nastier you are, the better it is. Yeah. And some people believe, find, tell me if you believe that's true. Yeah. But some people believe that because you were such a nice guy, you didn't <laughs> hang around with any girls, so that's why you didn't win. Actually, you, you see, when you say nice, it depends on what type of nice, you know. You know, your friend um, told me another strange thing. <laughs> well, I'm not a saint, definitely. <laughs> I'm not a saint. You know, uh, you know I, I would say while I was in the house, I was um, representing a lot of things, you know, a lot of people. I was representing my country, my family. When I say my family, not only my parents, you know, my siblings, my country, you know, everybody that believed in me, you know. So um, it's just all about decency, you know what I'm saying, you know. I've, I've had people, you know, who challenged me that, so why didn't you have sex in the house? Mm -hmm. And I would be like, who would do that? You know, if you wear my shoes, would, can you have sex in front of your parents, you know? Can you, you know what I'm saying, you <laughs> know? From the cameras. So, you know, so that, that was how I placed myself. At the time, I, I, I have a girlfriend, you know, who was pregnant at the time when I was going. Imagine her leaving me to go and be in the shower with girls. You know, she had done so much already. So all I had to do, you know, was just to respect her, you know. So, you know, you see, I said this is chasing fame. You started off in the marine industry. Yeah. You said you always wanted to be kind of military. Yeah. But you ended up in modeling. And then from modeling, you now went to the Big Brother house. And now you were, you're going to start your own label pretty soon. Yeah. So was it fame that was moving you? And what was it that was moving you? What did you need fame for? Well, um, I would say fashion... Uh, entertainment is, is okay. an in, you know, I, I was born with it, you understand? <laughs> Where was it? I mean, I'm just shadowing that one. Yeah, this was in Abuja, you okay. know, yeah. This was after the show, though, you know. Okay. So, um, as, a, as a young child, I loved fashion so much, you know. I have so much sisters, you know. So, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you know, this one, by the time this one will buy me a shirt, this one buys me, you know, this, you know. So, I loved fashion so much. Uh, one of my sister's friends used to call me Shakok Bewa. But, but <laughs> Shakok thank God, Bewa, what does that mean? Uh, Shakok Bewa is someone that, you know, you pose, pose, and then you get a plate of beans. <laughs> <laughs> but today, uh, I'm Shakok Bewa, don't lie. Yeah, 
<laughs> so I shock her today and I make money, you know. Please don't go away because we are still chasing fame on Seriously Speaking. Don't go away. Welcome back. I'll be welcoming to the studio now someone who I just love his acting. I didn't know what his name was, but the roles that he had played, I thought he presented them very well because in these parts, there are very few male superstar actors, at least. We hear of all the big female names, but very few male names. But this is one name. After the recent win at the AMVCAs in 2015, he's even rising higher. It's my pleasure to welcome to the set now, Blossom. How does a guy have a name like Blossom? Blossom Chukujeku. How? You're going to catwalk to like Tayo. Don't worry, forget it, we'll fix it. This is my living room. Yes. OK, are you going to spin around a little for me? Turn around for me. Now, act all you be now. <laughs> welcome, welcome on set. I'm glad to see you. How did you end up chasing fame as an actor? Chasing fame as an actor? That's, uh, that's a long story. You can shorten it. <laughs> well, I do know that um, you're the first son. Yes, I'm the first son. And I do know that you went to study mass communication. But I wonder why you didn't do theater arts. I actually wanted to study theater arts. My parents wanted something more professional at the time. Are they eating their words now? Uh, they're happy. But, they're not, but is the money rolling in now? Uh, gradually, we're getting there. You're getting right, there. Right, yeah. So what was it about acting? You know, because I have themed this edition, Chasing Fame. When you thought as acting as a, as a profession, were you thinking of being famous? Uh, don't tell me no. Of course, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anybody would, would say that. We actually wanted to be famous, but as you go along, um, it's not about you anymore. It's the dream, the dream gets bigger. You know, it's about... Nollywood, it's about building the industry, it's about moving, moving it forward. So it ceases to be about you at some point. What did you think acting would bring that for you? Because your mom, your mom is an entrepreneur, right? Yeah. Your dad is, what is your dad? He's an estate surveyor. An estate surveyor. So now mom says, chase your dreams, find the talent to make you money. When you knew your talent was acting and you told them, I want, did you tell them you want to be an actor? Yes, I did. And did they say, okay, chase it? All hell broke <laughs> loose. <laughs> the very first night I told my mom, but she's, I mean, she's been my biggest supporter you know, um, all along. I, I didn't know how it was going to come, but I knew it was going to come. You knew it because We started in 2009. Yes. And this is, let me see, my mouth is not the best, six, six years after. Yeah, six years. Was it slow in coming? Or you just... Uh, I think I'm pretty blessed because, right, I mean, I, what I, where I am right now, I don't know. God has just been faithful. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't easy. You know, we had What are the difficulties about attaining fame in your industry? Uh, you have a talent, right? You need a platform. You know, it's, we, we're in, we are in, in an industry where people support tangibility. What they can see and feel. What they feel. can see and feel. You know, you really don't get people who be, really believe in potential. So we're really grateful to people who gave us that platform. I mean, Osi said it at the AMVC. People give people who believe in potential. You understand? So yeah, that's 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 a uh, once you can cross that, and and it's not about the opportunity coming. It's about it. taking the opportunity when it comes. You know, I'm going to take a break so that I can bring you back with my model, and they will engage you on two tips that you must give to people who are chasing fame. Define fame. And after that, we'll have some fun on the studio, dancing to some famous people who are on the track to being famous. Thank you very much for being here. And thank you for watching. Just stay tuned. There's still fun coming up, so don't go away. This is Seriously Speaking. OK, you both are quite agreeable with the fact that platforms are important. And I want to, I mean, my guest had talked about Ugochuku earlier. And Ugochuku was on one such platform, like the one that you were on. It's called the Project Fame in Nigeria. And Ugochuku didn't come first. Ogochuku was six. I mean, is it Ogochuku or Ogochuku? Ogochuku. Ogochuku. What's yeah. the difference with Ogochuku and Ogochuku? I don't know. I just know Ogochuku. <laughs> what does Ogochuku mean? The literal meaning for Ugo is ego. And ego oh. is the representation for um, royalty from where I'm from. So if you see an Igbo chief, you see an Ugo, Igbo that cap. Thing, that's like that's true. That's one true. that God has chosen to honor. Oh, so, so, so tell me, when, when uh, you didn't win, what did you feel like? It was hard. It was sad, you know, honestly, because I'm human. It's hard to put in three months of work and expectations and then not come out with what you felt like was going to change your life. Okay, but change then, your life. That's the key. You wanted to change your life too. It's, it's better now. So you have been trying, trying, yes, yes. trying. Then I've this platform, you didn't win, but you got... I mean, obviously, did you have Rain On Me before? The... No, no, I wrote it in the Academy. I wrote oh. a song in the Academy. It was a song that came out of all of my experiences and... Mm. and Rain On Me is like my, my three months experience in three minutes. 
Oh, okay. That's so do you guys want to hear the brain on me? But you can so you can identify with what he's saying, can you? Yeah. Can you? Have you ever had any disappointments? I yes, of course. <laughs> because I also I also spent uh, three months on the journey and I also didn't get the money, so I was disappointed at the time. But <laughs> by the grace of God today, I'm celebrating. So did you have disappointments yourself? Of course. There are times you go for auditions and you're you're hoping you get the your, you know the role and you you, you don't get that call. Oh yeah, the one that turns and rolls now, I'm sure. <laughs>